Hello, good morning. It is Christmas Day. Whoopee, hurrah, happy birthday, Jesus. We have a very special Bible reading for today. I'll read it in a moment. But what would you choose? What would be your choice of Bible reading for Christmas Day? Would it be somewhere involving including the birth of Jesus? Quite possibly. Would it be your favourite psalm? A favourite passage in the Old Testament, perhaps in Isaiah, where he talks about the the forthcoming of the Christ child. I wonder what it would be. Well, as I turn my calendar, the verse before me today is this. It's in John's Gospel. It's chapter 3, and it is verse 16. Probably the most famous verse in the whole Bible, probably the most oft-used verse, which says this. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. It starts with that word again, that word for. That means he's been explaining something, Jesus has been explaining something else before he says this. He's been explaining to his disciples and his followers what life is all about, what his presence with them is all about. And he comes to this point of saying why God did this for. For God so loved the world. That is, God our Father in heaven loves us so much that he did this wonderful thing. He gave his one and only son. Could we imagine giving up our one and only child? Giving up and sacrificing that child for the sake of other people? We might be willing to sacrifice ourselves to save other people if we were very brave. But would a father, a mother, sacrifice their child for the sake of other people? That would take an enormous amount of love and grace and compassion towards those other people. But that's what God did. He gave his one and only son so that whoever believes in that son will not die, their life on earth won't come to an end alone, but will have eternal life. Now, we all know, though, don't we, that we're going to die physically. Our bodies are going to wear out in one way or another, or some accident might happen or something, and we might end this life we have here on earth. But if we believe in him, in Jesus, the one who came, whose birthday we celebrate this very day, if we believe in him, that isn't the end of it. We can have eternal life with our Father and our loved ones in heaven forevermore. What does that look like? I don't know. I'm not there yet. But in faith, trusting without fully knowing, I believe now and I know that because I believe, my future in heaven is guaranteed, assured. It's written my name is written in ink, not to be rubbed out. My name in the book of life, one might say. Now that's great news. That is the good news, the gospel. That God loves us so much that he even sacrificed his only son. That we might live forevermore. We can tell that story in a variety of different ways. And we do over the course of a year and years. But it all comes back to this, that Jesus is the central figure of the human race and everything revolves around him. And each one of us has the opportunity and the choice to believe in him or not. Don't give it another day, another Christmas until you give yourself to Jesus. Believe in him and inherit eternal life. That's God's Christmas present to you. Enjoy it. Bye for now.